Hello class, in this video we're going to do something very small and minor and easy but important and that's crosswalks. Um, you know I think crosswalks is important because I think pedestrian space is important um, and they're really easy. I know crosswalks are a bunch of white rectangles. We're going to do it a little more simply than drawing white rectangles but I'm going to make a new layer. As I always do call it crosswalks. I'm going to put it right above the road layer which is that gray layer base that I started with a couple videos ago and I'll zoom into somewhere where maybe there'll be a crosswalk like say at this sidewalk location here and, I, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my fill to to be nothing and I'm going to change my stroke to be white um, and then I'll just use my pen tool I'm going to draw a line from the midpoint of the sidewalk down to the midpoint of the sidewalk on the other side. We see, of course, we get a white line here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my stroke weight to be something approximately the width of the side sidewalk for the crosswalk size. So maybe in this case it's more like 1.75. Um, and then I'm going to put dashed lines on. And in this case, because my drawing is so small, the numbers are going to be small here. Yours will be different based on your scale and, and other elements. But if I see what a dash of one is, we can see that it puts in a crosswalk symbol like that. Oftentimes I'll leave the gap the same, but uh, technically they're usually different, but you're, you're free to play with this. But that's that's quite simple, just like that. I've got a crosswalk and then I can go ahead and put in crosswalks wherever else I may need. And as long as I got that setting, it's just going to continue doing the uh, same thing there. So maybe I have some crosswalks here and here. I mean, really, it's so simple. I can end the video. But uh, there we go, crosswalk done. And of course, like anything else, I'll come over to my layers. And when I'm done with the layer, I'll close it, uh, lock it, and then I will save my drawing and move on to the next trick.